Greg Airway to another episode of Anno 1800, and today we are going to be doing something a little bit special. Um, one of our incredible Rantians, Sororu, hopefully I'm saying your name correctly, please let me know if I'm not, um, has really been advocating for the past couple of episodes in the comments that we should really, really consider the steampunk pack. Okay. And you know what? I'm here for it. Let's fucking do it. Is a magnet for genius. Exactly. So what I've actually done is I've gone and looked at the steampunk pack already. It's over here in the cosmetic section. And what it really basically does is it gives the entire area the steampunk facelift, as it were. Thing is, though, from what I can tell, it really only affects the investor homes. But you know what? Who says that Ditchwater can't be the investor hive? Right? That's ultimately going to be our goal. I don't know whether I'm actually going to have skyscrapers here in Ditchwater. I'll definitely have some on Constantinople. But here, I didn't really think about it. Again, because in every single one of my damn playthroughs, I let Ditchwater go. But today, we're going to give Ditchwater the steampunk facelift, as it were. We're going to be playing around with this pack, seeing how it looks, and yeah, just figuring out what we can do. So. What I'm going to be saying is there are areas of the settlement that definitely need to be looked at once more. And I'm thinking about having a gas fired power plant over in this corner so it can actually have electricity go to these places. Because uh, it, it's just, I can't put another one of these power plants over here. I don't think it's possible. Unless I move the bank and redirect this track to go along this road, but then I'm going to be getting rid of a couple of homes here. Well, they are engineer homes. I can potentially put one where the school is. I'll think about that later. But let's take a look and see what this whole uh, sci or steampunk... I keep wanting to say cyberpunk for some reason. So let's take a look. Oh, that's actually really cool. Oh, they have like little... Oh, okay. I, I, can, I can really dig this. All right. So let's just do it for this entire section. It's gonna get a little loud, isn't it? Wow. Okay, that's that's interesting. That's definitely interesting. Let's do it for this spot as well. Dude, it looks like we're making Piltover. <laughs> that's actually really sick. It's gonna be really loud because of all of these little gardens at the top and this constant spinning. That's the only thing. I, I don't know how to turn that off. I'm, I'm going to keep ourselves zoomed out for the most part, if that's the case. Let's go ahead and do some stuff here. Yeah, see, the volume's getting louder. Oh, I didn't mean to change this. And get that one more. It actually looks really freaking cool. But then, like, you go in, you have, like, this horrible sound. Is there any way to turn it off from here? I have no clue. I'll have to look at that in the, uh... In the settings. Maybe I should do that now? Go check audio, we'll do this all together. Uh... Sound effects, sound... Just You know what, let's put it down to 25, see what it does. Yeah, that's definitely a lot better for here. Whew, that would have actually given me a headache. Okay, let's uh, let's work on this side, and then we're gonna work on actual like beautifications and whatnot. I don't know why I actually didn't reduce the slider earlier on. You know, you can kind of hear it in the background, but it's not gonna be like too overpowering. That'll just like give us the worst headache in the world. And they should have thought about that. If if I'm being completely honest with you. So far, it's looking pretty good, I must say. So we'll have another big portion like this right over here. And then we'll have these guys over here do the same. Because all the uh, investor homes here are definitely getting the steampunk upgrade. Let's see about that. That looks good. I think that's all of our investors. Oh, no. We got some over here. I lied. There is some there. We got the ones over here, we got the ones over here. So that means, like, in the front, it doesn't look too bad with these engineer homes, I'm being honest with you. It looks very good. So, 
we need to also consider all the parks and whatnot. Because, quite frankly, like, is this school actually doing anything for us right now? Ditchwater is so outdated with a lot of things. So, if we go to here, uh, I was already there. We have the eccentric overpass. Oh, wow. Is that like a an elevator? You lazy ass. What do you mean? Oh my god, that thing's fun. We have a fountain. We have a... What is this? An evaporator? Interesting. We have a steam o'clock. An aquarium. Interesting. An event turner. That's, that's interesting. Ooh! A steam spa. That's pretty sick. Okay. Uh, let's put... What's the entrance looking like? Let's put that there. Uh, then you have the celestial tiles. You have... Then you have these types of tiles, you have the singular ones, and then you have the steam pipes. Okay, interesting. How do the steam pipes work? Oh! You know what? This could actually work out well. Um, let's go ahead with a fountain, like, right over here, right? And we'll have some of the pathway right through here. And we even do some, like, right here. And then we will have... No, not that one. Let's have the clock, like, right in the middle. And then we'll put... Can we put this, like... This makes so, like, little sense, but it's so crazy and out there, I want to put it somewhere funny. <laughs> but then the pipes are also a different story. The pipes, I'm thinking, like, we can do something like this. Yeah, there we go. And then we have... A different set like so and we also have this type why is this one not huh that's interesting I don't know why that one's not working as I wanted it to but because it's not we're gonna get rid of it very interesting okay so we have this spa and you know what considering how that's like the biggest building around here actual building we're going to get rid of some of the other old pubs and buildings across the city of Ditchwater. Oh yeah, we can actually like get rid of the rest here. That'd be fantastic. Why are you not demolishing? Hello? Can't demolish. What? What are you... Oh my... What are you doing? You guys saw that, right? Like I was right on it and it didn't demolish. Outstanding. Okay, put this one here. Because we want our people to be happy, right? We want them to be completely enamored with the level of steampunkiness. We'll put this thing right in the front, like right here. And then we'll have... I'm not a fan of the aquariums. I, I really like the roads. Oh, what the heck is happening here? Oh, there is a swing. Whoops, so I got rid of the swing. Okay, we got that. So now it clashes with this old design of ours, which kind of sucks, but we can work on it. Where is the fountain? Okay, there's the fountain. We don't have, like, a... Like, a fence of sorts. We have the pipes, right? Yeah, so the pipes pretty much are our fences. We can do something like that. That's not bad. You know what we're essentially doing? It's like a mix between, like, Dwemer technology and, um, what's the other one? Like, Piltover, if you guys ever watched Arcane or know about League of Legends. That's what I feel like we're doing here with Ditchwater. And it's pretty sick already. Uh, I don't know if I want to continue putting it this way. Well, no, I, I lied. I I'll just do it. I'm not sure what's up with these tiles that are not working, but I'm going to put these ones. May have a little bit of variety, I think. It's never a bad thing. So we have another spa there. Uh, what other things can we do? 
know, because, like, I put some stuff in the middle. Like, okay, over in here, we can definitely have, like... An explosion in one of your factories. You are fucking kidding. Uh, like, actually fucking kidding me right now, right? Do you see what I'm trying to do? Like, I'm busy here. Do you have to explode? It's fucking stupid, man. Let's do something like this. Hold on, I got an interesting idea. Give me a second. I don't care. I, I genuinely do not care. Actually, you know what? Where's the, um... I don't feel like the sewers would not be good. But Pinal, on the other hand, might be. See, like, that actually kind of looks pretty sick in there. I kind of like that. See, so, like, you're going from one side of the block to the other. And you want to pass, pass by the, uh... The canal in there. I like it. I can dig it. Alright, which... Where did it say that it exploded? Why are these things exploding all of a sudden? Like, on Site 3 of all places. This is the main place that they're blowing up on. I don't get it. And then we have another spot over here. I think I'm gonna get rid of the... Marketplace. And instead, this is where I'm gonna put... Like, I really want to put down a lot of these steam spas. I really like the building. I think it works the best. Cool. We can do a little something something over here too. I feel like this- does it have like a description? I really wish like what this would- like is it something like a robot that's supposed to help? You know what I mean? Okay, we have a clock over there. We got a fountain right over here. Okay, I haven't figured these ones out. Like, what is the main issue with this? You know what? I think it would work if I wasn't on um, expert level difficulty, unfortunately. So we'll have it like this. And then we'll have the path through here also be... The celestial tile. We'll have it the these ones. Excuse me. So I have like a little bit of variety going through the town. I'm trying to see what other empty spots there could be. Okay, so like all these trees, we're gonna get rid of all these trees and we're gonna replace it with the pipes. Because ultimately these guys are all gonna be investors. You found your Algorithm. <laughs> I, I see what you did there. That was funny. Really funny. Real knee slapper. I, I, I was impressed. I really I wish that would work. You know what? This is actually not bad. Uh, make it like that. But I kind of like the design it had in the back there. So let's do something like this. Yeah, there we go. That looks kind of nice, I think. We don't need these loudspeakers. I mean, our people are pretty much loyal at this point. We can't fit that in here, but we can fit the fountain. We can have another... Maybe these ones are kind of like, um... I don't know, like the secret police or something like that, or just the guides around the city. Yeah, that actually kind of works, low-key. Upgrade that to full. Why not? Credits due. Oh, thank you, old chap. Get rid of these two. And we're gonna put two of her. So this is gonna be like a complete beautification episode. Nice. And then instead of this, you can have this cool one. Which that one is kind of cool as well. But this one's just so out of the ordinary. I just love it. It's quirky, you know? We're here for the quirkiness. So, like, these guys are signaling how to get across. That's pretty cool. That's really cool. Good looking out, man. Like, this is actually not bad. I was hesitant about getting this pack initially, but then now that I see what it has the potential of doing, I'm totally here for it. So I'll keep this underpass. Oh, you can change the color. That actually makes it look a little bit better. We'll have a clock right here. 
we'll have an Advent Turner right here. And, you know, this is not a bad thing. Have two like that, because you're going from one side to the other. No, 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 that doesn't work, sorry. I thought about it for like a second, didn't look good. Will they go across? No, they won't. Well, that sucks. There we go. And then we need something in the middle here. Maybe I put the clock over on this side, yeah. Put the clock in the middle. And then we can have some more pipes going around like this. Looking good. I did really want to come up with something for ditch water, and I'm actually glad that this is a thing. It'll help the city have some modicum of uniqueness now. I think if I move the fire station a little bit further down, then I can actually justify having this ridiculous eccentric overpass, but I don't really want to go too much over this side, because this is where all the steampunkiness is, and I want to really capitalize on this. So, we're going to get rid of this church, and our people better be like the cleanest on the face of the planet, because we're putting all of these spas down. Let's put this spa over here. And then we're going to have to have another one of this lady right here. And then two fountains. Uh, yeah, see, that doesn't really work, to my eyes at least. Okay, we have a whole bunch of the blue paving down. It's coming together. A decent facelift, I guess, is probably the best way of putting it. Because, like, there's a whole bunch of spots over here. I want to replace all of the trees in between at least the engineer homes with the pipes. I really, for some reason, I like the pipes. And I was actually thinking in uh, preparation for this episode, I was thinking about starting a brand new... I'll put you on trial. But be ready for the noose. Oh, come on. Um, do I even have... Shake the tree, see what falls. Do I even have a ship that's capable of doing that? I have the Enterprise over here. What the heck? Oh, my harbor defenses are firing at him. <laughs> well, I mean, they're bound to, you know, die off at some point. What I can do, actually, is because the fleet is no longer needed over here, I'll just send them, uh, is under attack. I'll just send them on an intercept course. Head over to Dishwater. That'd be useful for something, right? Hey, it might be better for you to shoot at this thing. There you go. I'll, I'll micro it. Don't worry. It's so shiny. So why can't we upgrade these ones? It's because, uh, oh, we can, but... Oh, they have electricity. Oh, perfect. So the how far... Contentment and how far does it go? So I can upgrade all of these guys, pretty much? Not these guys in the very front. That's unfortunate. But I can upgrade the rest. The ambience oh, these guys are investors as well. I can't tell anymore, man. I can't tell who, which one of these are freaking investor which one's a freaking engineer anymore it sucks i i that's the that's only the thing that you know i kind of wish they had like a little bit more differentiation between these two but it, it is what it is it actually you know low-key it works with the bank now because of the golden domes at the top but let's get the rest of these guys upgraded why won't you upgrade well because you don't have electricity why where it i mean the power plant's over here oh yeah because you're in a like the worst possible spot for it maybe okay well that is definitely a thing we'll go ahead and upgrade as much as we can but we're more than likely gonna have to get a power plant or something over here uh these guys as well, well do that do these ones as well get these guys Nice. Okay. I hear something firing. And it changed the skins of these ones. God damn it.
I don't care about... Who, where are they even fire? Oh, they're firing here. Oh, there's the Enterprise. Okay, this is actually quite fortuitous. If it's right there, then, you know, wonderful. I didn't even know where my ship was. I'm just focused on the steampunk pack, man. I don't give I don't give a shit about anything else right now. <laughs> Damn it! Motherfucker. There we go. We gotta get some like really good specialists over here. More than ready. Okay, well, if you're here, you might as well do something. Unfortunately, now because we had to lower the volume for these uh, steampunk cities uh, thingies. We can't really hear the ships too much. I can adjust it a little bit. Did you kill that thing off? At least it's good to see, like, an older ship do something, you know? Alrighty. Alright, where do you need to drop this off at, Anne? Where are we going? Uh, proof of destruction. Right over here. Okay. Easy peasy. Yeah, th this motherfucker is loud. I can hear it. Like, if I were to adjust the sound just a little bit, put it up to like 35. I think that's okay ish. I can live with that. I can live with that. Okay, there's some empty spots right over here in the front. We can also work on that, please. Let's get the clock. Oh, I see what I did. Yeah, that's good. Put the steam clock over here, please. We're gonna keep the banner and the column there. I'm trying to see what else we can do. Until like I actually upgrade the rest, I won't worry about um beautifying around it with steampunk stuff. It's like a work in progress. There we go. I feel like having Eva around here is definitely like a really cool thing to have. Let's have something like that. The, um, yeah, just put regular paving in between. That looks pretty. Like the paving itself looks very pretty. Do I need this school over here? Is there not a school over in this corner? Rose cheeks and merriment. So the church can probably be deleted in favor of a university. Is that what I'm seeing? And as well as like the variety theater, I can definitely do that too. I'm trying to look at what I can do for later. Oh, this will actually look kind of cool with the pipes. Yeah, very cool. We're gonna do the same over here. So, like, your primary location for merriment and, uh, you know, just chilling with your friends is gonna be at the, uh, the spas, the multiple spas across the city. <laughs> That's gonna be sick. Uh, let's do something similar to what we did over in that other corner, so we'll mix the two packs. That's kind of nice. Is there anything in the middle here? Nope. We will put a fountain. Put a little Ivan Turner. And put that there. I think this spot's fine. That's okay. These other locations are totally okay. I'm not going to worry about that, but when it comes down to, like, these hedges, for example... That's when I'll swap them out to the steam pipes. Oh, I see a little thing over here. I, I keep, like, neglecting these little guys still exist. At least it changes, so I don't have to delete it. Very cool. Oh, next to the power plant is going to be sick. Nice. We'll have to go walking through here and take a look-see up close. It really got a pretty good upgrade. I'm, I'm really, really pleased. Uh, get rid of this. 
and then we can have the current stuff around it, but then we we definitely need to have Eva. We'll have Eva face in this direction. So they all have like elevators on the exterior. Really cool. Uh, I'm not gonna get rid of the stuff over here, nor the stuff around the Court of Justice. Man, it's an old times I've seen this one. Y'all remember when we tried to persecute the uncle, and then the uncle uh, got burnt to death? Yeah, that was that was a fun time. <laughs> oh, the duck pond. Well, yeah. Now we all get a piece. Cool. Come back, please. Let's sail. You know it'd be cool also if we make bright sands look like this. It'll look pretty nice in my opinion. These guys are also okay. I'm not gonna get rid of the pavilions here. But what I will do is I am gonna go ahead and link this up with a key. Because that's been some time since I wanted to do that. There's also a spot over here. We would do the same. I think we can also justify doing it over here. It's fantastic being back in Ditchwater. I remember when we called ourselves the proud nation of Ditchwater. And we are. That, that is our roots. That is where the Rantians came from. Right here in Ditchwater. And now we're back beautifying the entire place with uh, steampunky stuff. I don't really want to change too much of this, but what I will get rid of these loudspeakers. Souvenirs. Yeah, I can get rid of that. And then, that paving, I feel like it's going to clash. You know what? Eva can be a guide around the city. I think that's what we're going to... That's what we're going to say. Have a clock over there. Yeah, because we can't change the actual coloring of these uh, tiles, which I think is a, a minor oversight. I don't know what happened. This is an okay spot. Yeah, so uh, with another power plant, I'm actually considering fixing that whole situation up right now. So the bank is a main problem here. Where can I plop it down? Uh, so I can get rid of the church, right? The church and then those homes. So like this road will go away? Okay. Yeah, I, I think I know what to do. Get rid of these guys. Get rid of this road up until here. Get rid of this. And then get rid of the bank itself. Uh, I think we need... It's the engineers, right? That need it? Okay. So let's put down the bank here. We're going to fix up the roads. The uh, road here. And then we have to, unfortunately, get rid of these two engineer homes and get rid of this road over here. And then there should be just enough to get through. We're going to have to get rid of this road. And we're going to get rid of the church. And I think this spot is going to be just fine for a lot of our engineers. At least this whole section to upgrade to engineers. Let's take a look. How far is it going to go? So we'll get this whole area. These guys will still be okay. We can't get to these ones. Um, unless we do the, pol the policy to actually increase the radius. Which... Let me see. Productivity from... No, I want the... Let me see. Yeah, plus 15 area for power. That's what we want eventually. So we'll keep it on that so we don't forget. But let's fix let's fix this rail real quick. Let's go through here. Please work. I think I think it should be fine actually. Uh, go down to here, and then to here. I think we're gonna have to get rid of a little bit more road, and by a little, I just literally mean one tile. Yeah, one tile. And link you up. Looking good. 
So why do we not have a lot of engineers? What's happening? Is it because... Are we building anything here? No. We have a lot... Well, we're going to upgrade a whole bunch right now. Let's go ahead and upgrade all these artisans to engineers. Do I not have enough? No, I need more, uh, more timber. Got it. Let me go and get some more. I think, uh, let's see, how much do you have here? 93? You do not have enough. Let's go over here. Oh, there's the fleet. Welcome back. It's been some time since you've been over here. Let's actually put them where uh, we started the war versus, uh, what's his nut? Gasparov, like, right in this corner. Let's get all these guys' skins changed, and then we will get the rest all situated in a moment. Because then we can actually get rid of the school and fix up the rail a little bit more before we build this. And then once we actually have it built... Oh, you know what I can do? Um, so the actor is not really going to be that... Well, actor's okay-ish. Because of the rum thing. Yeah, that's not bad. Um... I don't think I have the capability of building a bank over in this corner, not unless I get rid of a shit ton of stuff, which I really don't want to at the, at the moment. Unless I can build it over here. Is that even possible? I can knock down, like, this section for a bank. Yeah, I think I'd do that. Yeah, I, I think I'm gonna do that. I'll knock down this section for a bank, and then, um... Well, wait a minute. I have a school here. Why, am I, why do I have a school here? What the heck am I doing? I'm going full dumbass again. Jesus Christ. Do something like that. I have a feeling like there's going to be some congestion with this track, but it is what it is. We have to do it. We're going to wait until we get some more timber. But it's, look, it's coming along nicely in the whole steampunk upgrade. There's literally no way to turn off these fuckers. It would have been fantastic if you could. I understand the appeal, but what I'm saying is, um, I'm gonna go ahead and research a whole bunch of Mr. Garrick, and then I'm going to bring him over here because I have town halls at random ass locations that I can provide a lot of the crap that these investors need with Mr. Garrick. So, one definitely like, oh no, there is one over there. So do I have one over here too? Yeah, I have one over here. What the hell? I don't have one here. I'm gonna need one over here. And eventually one over here, because I, I am going to rebuild this area. We can't shut the storm door. I know, I know, quit bitching. Okay, head over here. I was initially uh, testing it out here on Rantium, but I'm actually kind of glad I didn't, because I really want Ditchwater to have its own identity now. Uh, item development. We'll go to... How thrilling. A renowned person. Town Hall items. What other things can we get? Those are from... Uh, so what do you do? That's for the hospitals, okay? That's for bonus supply, no. Okay. Oh, uh, no, I don't like that. Residences with members club are fulfilled and provided with cigars. Damn, okay, not bad. I didn't see that one before. Chance of illness bonus residence, no. Uh, all farmer. Bonus residence, and then residences with the electricity need fulfilled are also provided with bank and members club. That could work, actually. So then I won't actually need to have that there. Hmm, I don't know. I'll think about it. Uh, but I need... Okay, so I don't need that guy. I need Mr. Garrick. This dude's also really good. The Blue Skies Delivery Service. Because, like, providing all that shit... With a department store, or, you know, all that crap, are fulfilled with chewing gum, billiard tables, and violence. Those are hell to make, okay? Absolute fucking hell to make. Alright, where's Mr. Garrick? Uh, you know what? I'm just gonna type him. Garrick. There we go. I need two of him. At least two of him. For now. Get to work. Uh, back to the old world, please. And bring me over a whole bunch of timber. Because we're going to need it. Adjusting for winds. 
So what do these guys actually need? They will definitely need the school for now until I upgrade at least these little guys over here for sure. Let me map out the bank again. It's going to be right here. Okay. And then we can do a lot of uh, steampunky stuff around it. Perfect. Because having the bank, the bank actually is, um, we're going to need a lot more resources as well. Mostly with the reinforced concrete. I think Constantinople has enough. 340 should be sufficient enough. Um, the plan is going to be that uh, I want to honestly have some sort of artisan home. Constantinople is not a bad place for it, but what I will say is that I did want a majority of it to be engineers, but seeing as how we're getting this all up and running, we can't have any engineers here for the most part. Even if we do, they have to be on like the outskirts. So what I'm thinking is we're going to actually have to have another city, and Bright Sands could very well be the one that we work on next. It still has, like, the basic roads and all that stuff for, like... Where is that thingy? Is it in the investors? Yeah. The World's Fair? You just plop that down again in the middle. Oh my god, it was glitching. <laughs> okay, so yeah, we can, we can definitely rebuild that over here. Not a big problem. I've worked on Bright Sands so many times, I've lost track. Airborne and ready to go. That's a lot more timber. Now I need you to come over here and give me some more reinforced concrete. Or actually, you know what? Head over to Isengard. Just give me that reinforced concrete all at once. Not a big deal. Because I have everything else. I, I, could make you cry like a wee bear. Uh, I don't think you can. You can try, but I don't think you'll get very far. Okay. Bank, 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 bank. Bank is going to get rid of all of them. Okay. I'll just get rid of every single artisan home. This, unfortunately, these items for now. It's bittersweet, but we gotta do it. Get rid of that home, these artisans, and then we need to get rid of this amount of the paving, right? We need to get rid of that too. And then we can plop the bank right in the middle here. Alternatively, we can put it like, like this. So we have some room in the back, but I don't know what to do with this back section anymore. I, I genuinely don't. So we'll just put it like this. Road like that. And this stuff is all good. We can actually have like a park of some sorts back here. Steampunky version of park. Yeah, that won't hurt anybody. But the first thing uh, we need is definitely the steam spot, because you know you go to the bank, you get all, you get all tired, man. Like I, I can definitely, I can definitely see it. How you get pretty. tired, you get, like really, I don't know, sweaty because of all the bankers giving you problems and whatnot, and they're telling you that you're about to default on a massive ass loan and all that good stuff. You know, not, not, not fun, not fun. So you want to do things that's, that's going to take your mind off of it, right? You know, this is actually a good spot, because then you can actually see... You know what? I'll spin it. Have your little half-ass ride. There you go. Now you'll be able... Is that a kid? I don't think that's safe for a kid to be on that thing, but whatever. What do I know? I'm just the builder. <laughs> What are we feeling about these aquariums? I have at least two. I want to at least play with a little bit of each. Uh, have that there. And a whole bunch of this. There we go. Not bad. Not bad at all. Now, bring me over a majority reinforced concrete and then some more timber, if you please. Because we have... Bricks are the next thing way. that we're going to have to bring over. So I'll send the uh, Kamenos back there to get that in a moment. And then once Mr. Garrick pops in, we're going to put him in uh, these town halls. And they exactly should... The perfect formula. Once they actually have electricity, then we can upgrade all these guys to investors. And that would be fantastic. 
I might actually consider getting rid of these like lowly engineers at random corners if they're not going to be upgrading and I know they won't be upgrading just so it has like some sort of continuity going with it do I actually get rid of this and make another spa no I feel like the the market's fine the market's okay what's the other one look like again I think the ornate one actually fits better with the theme here now because of the um the dome at the top this one yeah I like that works well uh, I thought we had another one around here. Doesn't look like we do. We have one over here. Let's let's work on this one. Put the ornate one up. Very cool. So we're waiting right now for the common us to come back. We're gonna build up this bank. We're also gonna build up the oil power plant. Ship under attack. Are you kidding me? Not again. This man. Like, you know, I'm gonna this be real. I'm going to get in with the right people. You're not. You're not going to win. I've really admired the persistence and perseverance in trying to take back this island. But, dude, enough is a damn enough. You're not getting through these Pephorian ships, okay? They're going to burn your ass to a crisp. Okay, there you go. To tell my wife and daughter? How about that you fail for, like, the 18th time? Hello? I don't know. Do something. Figure it out. Leave me alone. Bank first. Oh, we gotta change the skin. There we go. That's better. And then the power plant. Looking good. So the variety theater, right? Can I actually, like, did we have tourists here? I don't know whether I built anything touristy. Well, I kind of did. This is actually not a bad place to have tourists now, if I'm being honest with you. Uh, where are they? Those are tourists. What the hell? Archie's shooting at Anne. I don't understand. You can't really fit... Well, no, you can. If you get rid of the road here, we can actually have some tourists. Get rid of this, then. Okay. Yeah, I see what we can do. Let's get rid of this road up until, like... Right here, so I can fit these guys in. How far can I go? There you go, that works. And then we're gonna need the bus stop. I'll put it one back. Yeah, I know, just give me a damn minute. The city's not much to look at, is she? How about you give it a damn moment? What do you mean it's not good? You just got here. You just got here, and you're already bitching? Outstanding. In that situation, we need to have uh, touristy crap, so... Have your souvenir shop, but... I want to make sure that Eva is here, and is going to... Tell people right from wrong. How about that? that that's the good thing. We'll have a nice pathway leading up to her. Let's change them all to look the same. Looking good. Uh, we can't put another bath over here. Not a problem. Have some of these pipes like so. I don't want to overload it over here too much. Um, wooden pavilion. Like that'll be okay. We have the trees again. Music pavilion right here. Have an ornate pavilion, like, maybe, like, right here. Looking good. And then, where was that lookout point? There we go. That's the one I wanted. Right behind this singular tree. What else can I put over here? Uh, you know what? These, these are simple-minded folk. I have an aquarium. But you know what? Make it two. This represents an extra... Ordinary breakthrough in the field. I like it every time he says that. I don't know why. Fills me with some sort of pride. Knowing that our guys are working hard. Let's just actually just grab the basic paving. 
it's nice to harmonize the two if I can. If not, then it becomes a bit of a problem. But now the thing actually comes down to needing a um, a variety theater for these guys. So what I'm gonna do is actually get rid of these engineer homes, and we're gonna work in this corner. And that's where I put down one of the mailboxes and get rid of those. Let's put the variety theater right here ish. Oh, there seems to be a little bit here. Get rid of that too. And this. So I kind of want to have two and one over in this corner. I can probably do this and then later on we can also have the, not the cafe, the restaurant. Yeah, that's not a bad thing to have. Honestly, if I build it further back, then it kind of looks a little static. I'm being honest with you guys. Let me see what I can do. Put this here, okay. And then the variety theater right here. Yeah, that looks a lot better. And then we'll have the road to here and the bus stop right here. Okay, that's perfect. That is absolutely perfect. So we need bricks now. Where's the common no set? Head over here. We need bricks. I'm probably going to need some windows and all that crap. No, I have windows. Uh, reinforced concrete is also necessary. So our power plant is working. That's good. We have plenty of oil in here. I don't foresee an issue because we are also generating oil with uh, Jorg over here. Jorg, Jorg, I, I don't know what the fuck his name is anymore. But if we get the variety theater up, that's going to be pretty damn good. So let's get, uh, where's my item transfer depot? From Rantium, I need Mr. Garrick. Thank you. What other, we also have this one. Residences, game, bonus residence from fish, bread, canned food, university, coffee, light bulb, champagne, steam carriages, chocolate, and fried plantains. That's nutty. That's actually nutty. I don't like that she completely nullifies champagne, though. Uh, I'm being honest. Because I'm, I'm working hard for our champagne. You know what I mean? It's really important that we keep that going, at least. Because that's Imperium-wide. You know? What happens if I do something like this? And then to here... Ooh, that kind of looks nice. I like it. I kind of want to do things in the city's roads a little bit. I don't know why. Like, this is actually, it looks nice to me. It actually looks nicer than what we had initially for it. Yeah, there's some spots back here. We can work, not that one have this right here and then we'll have some pipes and then just regular paving like that not bad and then the good old touristy crap you know you can never go too far without me saying touristy crap everywhere because i ugh, no just no the ho the stories i can tell you it's just insane. Okay, I have a lot. I did actually, you know what? Speaking of stories, I did promise, I think it was, um, I don't think it was Patrick. I think it was maybe Ryu. I, I don't remember. I have to go look it up. But uh, I promised I was going to actually start talking about my experiences working at the public library for so long. Because I got to tell you, man, like... Some of the dumbest shit happened while I was working there. And I mean, like, actual dumb shit. Um, so, yeah, we... Uh, there have been moments that I've just, like, been like, why in the hell am I even here type moments. One story I can start off with was there was a dude who we... Actually, I came up with his title known as The Sleeper. Sky's okay. The this dude, and I'm not making fun of anybody. I want that right up front. I'm not making fun of anybody. These are just stories that, you know, I experienced while I was working there. So we're going to get that out of the way first. 
Um, this dude would come into the library every single day, even on days that I wasn't working, and pretty much um, find a corner, normally in like the most remote sections of the library, right? Like his, like, our library, I don't know about yours or how long it's been since you've been in your public library, but uh, there are little cubby corners, empty spots, that you can go and, you know, just study, read, without everybody just walking past you constantly. And there's the fireworks starting from now. This is fantastic. Um, so this guy had a tendency of going into, like, those corners and just falling asleep. Now, the library had a policy that you weren't allowed to fall asleep while you were, you know, there. If you're in a spot, like, you actually had to be doing something. Which I agree with, because, you know there are people who want to use that space, right? We have to be considerate of everybody. I say that while rolling my eyes, because a lot of people were not considerate back when I worked there, and I can venture to say they probably still aren't, but that's besides the point. Um, so one day, this dude goes downstairs, okay? One of the very few days this man goes downstairs. When you are at the computer station, you were allowed to have on at, on any given time one hour limits and then you can go and like you know if there wasn't too many people needing to use the computers they would actually allow you to extend your time another hour or 30 minutes or whatever you you'd explain it and the guys who work there in the computer section were all really chill so for the most part they would allow it but anyway um this guy apparently did not know about that whole thing and um if you're squeamish or anything, I'm gonna give you like a second to warn you that this gets kind of nasty. Three, two, one. In order for him not to have to reset his time because he needed to go to the bathroom, he went to the bathroom in his chair. Right there. Completely sane individual. This dude actually spoke very, very good English. Went right there, right in the chair. He defecated in the chair. And obviously you can't really hide the fact that somebody has done that right so branch manager gets involved she comes over there and i god bless her i, I love her she was so funny um came over there and was like whoa this smells really freaking bad long story short um this dude got trespassed for an entire year, so he couldn't come back to the library, which was, I guess, in a way, preferable, so that, that thing doesn't happen again. But, you know, that's just, like, one of the stories. I've also had another one of uh, a time when I actually had to bail out one of my uh, co-workers because the guy who came in and was talking to her was actually Persian, and he didn't speak a lot of English quite well. So I actually got in there and I started talking to him, and... Uh, managed to navigate that situation there's a lot uh the weirdest shit actually would happen downstairs i didn't actually have a lot of weird moments except for a dude and his girlfriend this one kind of you know took me aback a little bit and i don't want to tell all the stories in one particular episode not at all but uh dead ass girl boyfriend comes up to me and says, uh, yes, do you work here? The typical line, you know, it's clearly like they don't see like a badge hanging from my neck, right? And they're, <laughs> I'm like, yes, I do indeed work here. Here, here's my badge. And they're like, dude looks around a little bit. We all keep the six books. I was like, uh, um, <clears throat> Interesting, so, uh, I must ask, are you interested for, like, the educational, or are you, are we planning something else? He's like, no, man, we, we're talking about, like, the, the real sex books. Look, I knew where a lot of shit was in the library. I didn't know where the fuck that was. And, and I was not about to go and say, like, okay, it's in this corner, okay? So I was honest with the guy. I said, look, I don't know where it is. You're probably going to have to go by the computer, which is right in front of everybody over in that particular area. Delighted to introduce our new colleague. And uh, probably have to look it up. And he's like, oh, shit. Y you can't tell me? I'm like, I don't know where it is, man. If I knew, I would have told you. <laughs> I, I don't know where the... 
his sex books are, and I don't usually get that question. I don't deal with that. I, I mainly dealt with, like, sorting the books, putting them on the carts, and shoving them out, and putting them on, like, I don't know, the fictions. I mean, I, I told him where if you want to get, like, the, the books for, you know, romance novels, they're, like, over in that corner. But he was like, no, we can't get off to that. I'm like, okay, I don't need to know the whole life story. Thank you. Oh, man. Some would say good times. I, I don't know. It was it was kind of crazy. What other stuff do we need here? I'm going to bring, like, some of these and some of these. Sky's the limit. But I know I got Mr. Garrick again, so I'm going to go over here and get another one from Rantium. Thank you very much. Where are you at? There you are. No. Damn it, I didn't know it actually transfers back. Whatever. So there are empty sections over here that we can definitely have the upgrade on. Um, I, I've i been kind of just doing stuff what I thought would look the nicest. 120... What do they want now? Attractiveness? What's wrong with here? It's a picturesque metropolis, dude. Airborne and ready to go. I don't understand. What, what do they want more? I guess I can put one over here. Can I not? Uh, yeah. It actually fits over in this corner right, really well. And we'll put this to it. So they're good with a public mooring. I guess we can consider... Can I fit one in here? Yeah, that works. But I need the bricks. So it is what it is. Get a little road. We'll, we'll do it like this. Not a big deal. And over here, we'll do some additional steampunk stuff. Let's have the pipes. We need Eva. And two fountains. And then the celestial tile. Very good. So where's our ship? It's coming with bricks right now. Perfect. Don't you love the foresight? Build this up. How are you unhappy? Just give them a second for the fur coats and they'll be there. God damn. Okay, how are we looking on these guys? Uh, we can actually upgrade them. Yep, we can upgrade them. So let's put Mr. Garrick in all the nice places. Who are you? Income per house, chance of illness. Okay, we'll get rid of that, please. Put Mr. Garrick in there. He'll be useful in a moment. And then we're going to take this one out as well. And we're going to plop him. We've good over there. He's good over there. I think we need to put him in here. So get rid of this one. And put in Mr. Garrick. Worthy of the plaudits. So he's going to give them pocket watches and jewelry. So that's they're going to make him even happier. So overall island population. Tourists are the only ones who are being a pain in the ass right now. But we can navigate around that very easily. Coming soon, new dishes. Yeah. Intriguing, intriguing. I know, girl. I don't know what's wrong with me. I, I, I really don't. We actually have enough for the Archduke Schnitzel here. Just, just Once take that. More under the dish, dear friend. Oh hell! I don't have a fucking warehouse. Where am I gonna put the warehouse now? Oh shit. Okay. Well, um. Okay. Bye bye. And I get the pipes going all the way to here. We'll just have the regular paving. I do need to get this one upgraded to. That's actually okay. We need some more resources, so I'm just going to go to and from. Not a big deal. So do we have enough to consistently produce the Archduke Schnitzel? No, we don't. We need potatoes, and then we need... Tallow is fine. We're getting tallow, so the only thing we're going to need is uh, the potatoes. And what we'll do is we will get that with champagne. 
Gonna, we definitely do not need 7,867. How about 50? So we get 983. That's, that's a lot better. That's a lot better. And then once the Kamnanos comes back with some more resources, I think we can go ahead and upgrade these guys. So it's actually, they're providing pocket watches like no tomorrow. This guy is a really, really good one. With the bank need, all these guys are fantastic. Pocket watches, jewelry, you won't have to provide them that much. I mean, there's going to be obviously gaps in here, but for the most part, it's, it's pretty damn good. He's a really good specialist. And we can get better ones than the actor now, because these guys don't really... They rely on the canned food, but the thing is, you get to investors, they're not going to need this. They won't need the canned food. So the actor is not going to be really important. Elliot is a different story altogether. Elliot is okay overall. He's kind of like Ferris, okay? He makes everybody happy, and that's really a good thing. You don't want to have rebellions and such just pop up out of nowhere, right? Are you close? Yeah, you're almost there. I, I love these airships. Can you imagine if we actually had to go to and from with, like, I don't know, the Enterprise or something? That would be absolutely incredibly mind-boggling to me if we actually did that. I'm still also trying to work on my narration. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I did watch this one uh, YouTube video a while back in which they were pretty much talking about how to really improve when you're starting off in like the space and narration for me is sometimes very difficult because i know what i want to say the words don't come out properly you know i don't know if you guys have also gone through that as well i'm kind of thinking if i start talking a little bit slower not to the point of it being like oh we're gonna put down the celestial fountain and see what happens no i'm still gonna be talking to my normal self but the thing is, I understand that I do kind of not make sense from time to time. And I really want to try and work on that, really. So, bear with me as that is the next step in my journey as a YouTuber. To get a little bit better with that. put that right there get rid of that little thing and then we will put the other version i like the star one more than this very nice city very nice so we are gonna need uh timber we're also gonna need bricks and that should be good enough to bring all that over here and upgrade all of these guys they're they're very happy why are you still unhappy I have the means to give them bobbins, actually. Uh, what about gramophones? Do I have enough gramophones over here? This city is a magnet for genius. You're damn right it is. I'm pretty sure I have gramophones over here. Yeah, I'm, ma I'm maxed out. The hell? Okay. So, please tell me that makes you happy. It's gonna give a lot more of these guys. Okay, so now they're at the point where the so restaurant is good. Course. Appetizers. Having that around the city is also going to be a good thing. But where to put them is the real question. Is once you get a settlement at this stage, really trying to put down the other buildings like that are going to be hell in a handbasket. So like at this point, I would actually consider moving the market, getting rid of it entirely in favor for... Um, or is it because of this one? No, it's connected. What do you mean? So why are we having an issue? Why are they upset? I'm not going to spend half my time here just getting to places. Oh, you poor thing. It's totally like a bus ride is not fun. Hello? Dude, I would go on bus rides with my grandfather all the time. That was actually the highlight of my childhood. He would take me on bus rides around uh, the city where I grew up in. We would go from the North Shore all the way to downtown. We'd take the sea bus over there. We'd take the Sky Train through downtown. I would take him all the way to the end of the line, even though he hated it. It was fun time, at least for me. Airborne and ready to go.
More investors coming up so we can put the cool skins to them. And now we're low on engineers. Okay. So we need to have some more. Yes, yes. Probably over here in Constantinople. I need to build up a couple from now. Let's get this stretch and this stretch. That should be sufficient for now. They will upgrade, which is fine. I need to also see about... Um, well, they need some more timber. Let me actually go and get that. There are buildings here that are not producing. Like, I don't need to have all of these assembly lines working. I can at least turn off two of them for now. That way we can balance the population here a little bit more. Because I really want to get this whole section all figured out. And get... I think it's one more. There we go. Perfect. Do the same with that one. And that one there. These guys also need to get upgraded to the steampunk version. Looking good. It's a very shiny ditch water. Very shiny and very pretty. I, I do quite like this. Oh, look at these buildings from the front. That's very nice. Very nice. Okay. So, uh, I give this pack a... Hmm... I give it an 8 out of 10, and I'll tell you why. I feel like the engineer should have also had it. Why don't you have it for them? Makes no sense. If you think steampunk, right? This is all like an engineer's wet dream, okay? I can understand the investors. Believe me, I can. But when it comes to the engineers, I feel like it would fit them quite a lot. So, I'm raising an eyebrow as to why that's the case and the why they didn't do that for that but you know it, it is what it is sometimes uh sometimes anno 1800 has to differentiate between them right we'll have these buildings like this down here actually what's the colorful one look like you know what that actually looks nice let's do the colorful one here in constantinople we don't usually do this one too much i feel like it sets the uh the mood quite well with uh the red brick roofs and like not and whatnot it's very nice very, very nice. I also, uh, I figured that there's a little bit of an issue with the rail line over here. Alas, uh, my bowels churn afresh, and I must beg your expertise. Dude, friggin'... Alright, Mike, if you guys don't know him, he, he's another YouTuber who also does Anno content. Highly recommend you guys go and check him out. Dude, he said that quote to me in a friggin', in a response I put on one of his videos. I was in tears. For five minutes straight because I heard this motherfucker's voice in my ears. No, I'm not gonna do that for a wooden crane. You oughtn't waste people's time. Don't waste my time with a rickety ass old wooden crane, motherfucker. Hello? I think we're gonna need some more reinforced concrete here. Sky's the limit. We're in the presence of a virtuoso. He's also not a bad one, but I would also I would consider putting him in uh, the new world over to here. It seems a lot better. So, do know that if we actually upgrade anything as far as uh, skyscrapers are concerned, we will lose this skin. So that means this is as high as ditch water will go as far as the buildings are concerned. And you know what? I'm fine with it. I'm totally fine with it. This city looks so badass now with this steampunk pack. And yeah, it's, it's definitely an 8 out of 10. They needed to do stuff with the engineer buildings i and you know what they should have done it with every single one no i'm i'm lowering it seven out of ten why don't these guys have one why are they not steampunky enough all those steampunk outfits are really cool looking don't think we yes tanker ready at least we're bringing in the recommended or the maximum amount of oil from prosperity but yeah i um as we're getting close to the end of this episode, as always, I just really like to thank you all for the patience. I, at the time of this video that I'm recording it, because this one is a little bit pre-recorded, channel reached 400 subscribers. Wow. Just absolutely wow. I, I am speechless. Actually, 
when I saw it, I took a picture of it, sent it to my mom. I'm like, look, check this out. Five months to 400 subscribers? I will tell you guys straight up, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. I genuinely do not know what the fuck I'm doing. But somehow, whatever I'm... Don't know what I'm doing type idea or feeling. It seems to be working. And I love you all. I genuinely do. I love interacting with you guys. You guys are absolutely incredible people. And it just makes me even more motivated to continue building this community. To continue to interact with you guys. And to continue expanding our influence as the channel grows. You know, that's incredible. It's absolutely incredible. You all meme me sometimes for the lack of, uh, I don't know, knowing how to do certain things, but you know what? That's all a part of it. I enjoy it. I thoroughly enjoy it. So with this, we now have our Steampunk City. We're going to be working on it a little bit more from time to time, but this is an absolutely incredible pack. 7 out of 10, just because it's more investor-oriented, and that's totally okay. We're going to be working in Constantinople a little bit and uh, boosting the population there with engineers so we can uh, get that whole thing situated. We definitely still have other islands, and like I said, we do still have Wolfsven. We don't know the situation with uh, Weston. We got a little bit of an aerial shot. Not much seems to have happened there, but uh, we'll have to check in at some point. But until then, please like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell button, share it with your friends. I'm trying to get the channel to 500 subscribers by the end of July. I'm throwing that out there. I don't know if it's possible, but I'm going to give it my best effort. If you guys are down to help, I, you know what? I really would appreciate it. But you know what? Being here every single day, commenting on the videos, that's even more than sufficient for me. So thank you so much, and I will catch you on the next episode, guys.